Hello, my name is Casey K. Dixon, and yeah, here I am. Um, I didn't really write that much of a script for this, so I might be repeating myself in certain sentences, but um, yeah, here I go. So, for starters, uh, I want you guys, the new people, to um, get to know me more. My name is Casey. I'm an animator and writer here on YouTube. I've been around for... Um, nearly, not really that close, but nearly almost a decade, basically, after I've been on this YouTube for, like, more than five years, and it's been a journey and a great blast, and I've had a lot of great memories. With this channel, I've made a lot of, of these short cartoon videos a long time ago, and the style have, has uh, changed and evolved over the past years. Um, and not only that, but getting in contact with people as well has helped so much with the channel. And basically, it's just been a great journey to be on YouTube for this long, but also just building this, I guess, like, group of people who, I guess, view my videos and people see more and more some of my family members some people from my church some people who know other people voice actors who have shared it it's been growing ever since and i think one of the um main videos that have grown was one of my recent cartoons i made a few years back called ralph can help that one was for the first time um having actual voice actors in it. Um, I did make a cartoon before that that had actors or people that voice in it, but it was my brother and sister that were in it, and that would be the Baron Pumpkin, the one that my brother and I had fun writing and making. Yeah, that one had actors in it, but it was my brother and my sister, and I believe myself, yeah. And Ralph, but Ralph Can Help was the first cartoon I've made that actually had actual actors in it and it was an honor and great journey to work with them and then after that I made Creativity then I made an animation parody short on the Batman called Batman Duh which my brother and I also wrote and then I made Our Pain which is an animation parody of Arcane I made that one as well and my brother and Chip and I um, have made together and written that we had such a blast on we had a lot of great laughs with the videos and also we had we were just really happy to work with such amazing people who felt very passionate about it so as some of you might know uh, who have been on the channel or who have been keeping up with my updates for the past uh, few years ever since Rob can help I did announce quite a lot of projects that some will be taking its time on but some I will be trying to get out this year so let's start off with a project that I recently announced this year. It's called Outer System. That one was a project that I announced last year. The name has stuck around for quite a while. The name was originally called Outer Solar System, which was a completely different project. But since I loved the name but just didn't like solar, I got rid of it and just started calling it Outer System and wanted to do something with it. So that's when I came up with the animation short Outer System, which I'll give a plot synopsis right now. It's about three friends. The main protagonist, his name is Ada, and her two other friends, uh, Finny, a talking frog who is also a great engineer, and their assistant droid, um, Z, who can be not as confident, but knows the ways, and like, I guess, <laughs> is kind of like a C-3PO and knows a lot about space and galaxies and knows that it's not a safe place at all to be around. Um, the plot synopsis goes that Ada and her two friends, they landed on a giant rock and they get cornered by these uh, these people who they, who they think are these scavengers or savages but has turned out to be normal people who are trying to defend who are trying to defend themselves from a greater threat that is trying to take over their home and they have to band together to basically defeat this bigger threat that lies beneath them so that's pretty much the synopsis of it. Um, it has amazing voice actors in it, and I can't wait to 
be able to work on this. I got to be able to write the script a while back, and it was honestly a lot of fun. I After writing a script, that's when I realized there was something I messed up on a certain project that I'll talk about in just a second. Outer System was honestly a lot of fun to write. I had a great time writing it in my room. I had music. I was just in my room. And after finishing the script, I took a look at it over and over. And it it just seemed to have satisfied me, you know? And I got to take a look at it again. And I'm just so proud on how much effort was put into it. And then something I thought of hit me. So now I'm about to talk about my project that I announced a while back in 2022 that a lot of people might recognize or know about. It's a project that I tried making a fan film of called Spider-Man Faith, which was going to be a 40-minute fan film that was going to basically be like a kickstart to my channel and was going to, I guess, like be my very first official animated film. I already had a script down. I had everything I need, a budget, people who, I guess, like were just supporting it, and that was basically it. I had actors on board. It was all done. But the only issue I had in the very end was that it all <laughs> executed sort of poorly, not the acting. The acting was phenomenal. All the actors that were involved in it did amazing. The actors, without them, the project would be nothing. Without any of the actors, the project would flop. It wouldn't do that great. So I'm just happy that the actors were able to be on board to be part of this project and it's just amazing to work with them when i say flop i mean that production wise in on my hand um has gotten kind of messy and scattered so because of me this is what basically happened was that spider-man faith was basically like a first draft script and if there's anything that i never want to do is use a first draft script i always want to keep rewriting the script and make sure that it's as good as it, as it can be, you know? Because when you look back on the first script, you're like, oh, this is complete garbage. Because at first you may be like, oh, it's it's complete. But then you're like, oh, it's garbage the next day. So I never wrote a second draft. And one of the worst things I've ever done in my life was finish the first draft of the script and never read it again. And the worst, and the worst thing I ever did was I even was half asleep when I was finishing the script. I was too lazy to read over it and to do all that. I am completely ashamed of myself, which is that's something I'm never going to do again. That's something that I encourage no one to do. Never be lazy and write, finish, never be lazy on your script and never, I guess, be half asleep at, at that too. Um, yeah, that's about what I could say for anyone else who wants to become a writer. Um, always look over your script. Always um, change what you can do to make your story as amazing as you can. I don't want to say perfect. I'm not trying to make Spider-Man Faith perfect, obviously. That's not what I was aiming for. I just want it to be something that I can look on and just love, honestly. Because when I look at the first draft now, I'm, I'm just in disbelief on just how not good it is on like honestly so for the past uh, i guess like that was announced in 2022 or i guess for the past long time i just been using that you know the first draft of the script i get began animating which was something i thought was gonna be no big deal but of course like everything was just kind of i don't know i guess it was just a lot going on and when I needed to release it in December 2022, which was the first official release date, I didn't release it. And that was because around that time, there was a ton, there was a whole ton of things going on. I got food poisoning. I was really sick. Animation just wasn't looking that good. So I had to re um, get to reanimating some scenes. Then that didn't go well because when I finished reanimating one scene, it doesn't look consistent to how the previous scene looks because the styles kind of evolve and change overall. And I want that sort of consistency. And in the end, it just didn't execute well. And not only that, the biggest issue of it all was like the project just kind of died. Like how I can describe it the best I can is it's like diving 
into the production without being prepared you know i had the animation and i had the budget it's just that in the end i was the only one doing everything and that's fine in the end like i'm fine doing all the work it's just that with everything else going on in my life it was just a complete struggle and i decided to delay to january then february then may and then i tried june and we all know how that turned out i had to delay it it just wasn't it just wasn't pretty to look at as a whole. I tried multiple chance, so from January to August of 2023, I tried giving the project a chance. I read over the script and wasn't happy with it. But back then I was like, no, I gotta keep doing what I do and just work on it. And in the end, uh, way too many scenes in the film were planned to be reanimated. Um, I was just over pressured on what was going on and I was even more over pressured when I tried watching the whole thing unedited and it just the film felt shorter a lot of scenes I just wasn't happy with but what carried it through was just the amazing performance of the actors but anyways yeah there was that and there were some other projects that I announced a while back but those ones have the same story I wasn't able to work on them stuff came up I recently just got my own place, so hopefully, you know, things can start looking better. And, you know, it, it kind of is, you know, like, Outer System is looking really good with production-wise. Um, what I never got to do with Spider-Man Faith was create storyboards, make enough concept arts for character designs. I just basically was just drawing characters, and I was like, yep, let's go with that. Uh, there, was none of, there was not a lot of planning. I just basically just started on it without discussing it or thinking it over i just started on it immediately and i i don't know that i ver i taught a very i taught myself a very good lesson that i should never do that again and that i should get a second opinions from someone like my brother who's who grew up um learning a lot more about this uh, film stuff he's going to be helping produce and funding most of my projects coming forward and will be helping hand to hand and eventually when my art stuff starts kicking off more I'll have eventually like a Patreon something to help support and fund my videos in the further future but as of right now everything that I'm doing is coming out of my own pockets and I you know in the end am happy to do all this planning and I'm happy to to finally redo some things so i guess that comes to spider my faith and what i'm maybe what i'm going to be doing this year with it so since i don't really want to give an official release date on when it's coming out i can say that it's looking to be this year still one of the things that i can say about spider my faith is that it's going to have a complete restart in production i'm going to be writing a second draft to the film and which by the way I've actually already got started on that. I've already am a few minutes in the first, or the, sorry, the second draft of the film. And I'm looking forward to get started on the third draft because I, I'm already reading over the second draft and it's looking as better than before, but I know it could be better. So I'm gonna rewrite it again. Trying to put in pieces together an idea on what I want for the film. I want the film to be something spectacular i want it to be a spider-man film at the same time i don't want it to be a generic spider-man film and i don't know if that makes any sense but basically kind of do what sort of what john watts did with his spider-man projects where he made each and one of them different from each other i don't want it to be a repeat of sam raimi's movies because we've already got those we don't want a repeat of those because those are a masterpiece i don't want to repeat the amazing spider-man and i don't want to repeat what tom holland did do something completely different basically but also have the audience recognize who the character is and what made him so great and amazing from the beginning so one of the things i'm going to be doing right now for the project is again write a second draft hopefully get to a third draft and then after that um i'm gonna be discussing it with my um brother chip who i've already discussed this with he's all he's he's gonna be all aboard in it he's gonna be helping me 
decide what we should do. Um, him and I are going to now be part of this project. Not only that, but I'm looking to hire an editor and a composer. And there's going to be a lot more helping hand with this project because before it was just me doing the editing and before it was just me doing the sound effects. Since the project will be coming out a lot later, but still somewhere around this year, I'm still looking forward to working with more people on the project. I've already got ahead of read of, of sketching out what I want the characters to look in a redesign and they look a lot more better than before. I didn't become a fan of how they started to look from the first draft or at least the first design, first design when I made them. I decided to give them a new look, something that was more 1990s if that makes any sense. Something that was just old time, you know, kind of like outdated and it's you know it's a lot of fun i got to finally take my time on it and like i said before it was rushed so yeah that's what i decided to do and it's it's been a lot of fun other than that that's basically the update for spine with faith is the project is going to start over and here's the thing in the end the animation is not really the problem it's just it's just everything else going on in my life and everything else going good and with more help I'm able to complete the project now that it's given more time and that now that it's able to restart production I can finally look this over and just be happy on how it looks I'm happy to do a lot of these storyboards yeah and by the way if some of you might be wondering um I am pretty tired I've been up pretty late but it's just something I really want to talk about it's been on my mind for a long time <laughs> I have some other projects that I also would like to announce. And these projects are not a guarantee that they're going to be in order. They're just going to be projects that will I'll be working on soon, hopefully. And the ones that I have a good feeling that I'm going to be able to work about. Some of them are really short. And some of them are going to be like a little bit long. But uh, here are the projects. So besides Outer System, I did announce that I'm going to be making a Mario Brothers animated short. I don't have a specific re release date on when that's coming out, but it should be sometime this year. It's a very short cartoon, and I'm happy to get to work on it. Another cartoon I'm also going to be making that I've actually been wanting to make for about a long time, actually longer than Spider-Man 8, was a cartoon called The Addams Family. That one I've been wanting to make for a very long time. It's a parody, but it's also kind of like a love letter to the show because I'm a huge fan of that and my brother and I did come up with a few ideas on what we wanted to do with it I wanted to make it since 2020 it's been a very long time since I wanted to make it it'll have comedy it'll feel like the actual episode another cartoon that I wanted to make is an original short called Working Toby it's a animation short about one of my characters that I made previously in the past named Toby who appeared in Working Creativity and you might be wondering why Toby well it, as, as funny as it may sound, Toby was one of the characters who I imagined having his own short project. I don't have an exact story down, but I'm collaborating on the project with my brother. We're going to be coming up with a short because there's just something about Toby that I honestly really love. And Toby is adorable. I want him to have his own short. And I also, not only that, but also want to kind of expand the kind of like world that... The other characters from Working Creativity live in kind of expand on their environment more because I, there's just a lot of ideas that I really want to put out there and I want to Working Toby to be able to show you guys what the world looks like. And I already mentioned earlier that I will be working on Spider-Man Faith again this year. And again, there's no guarantee on what day it'll be released, but it is looking to be somewhere starting again somewhere around this summer. Another short that I can announce that will be coming out, I'm not sure if it'll be late 2024 or maybe beginning 2025. It'll be an animation parody of season two of Arcane. Since I made the first season with my brother Chip, we are going to be making a set parody on the second season. We've been talking about it for a long time. So after the show comes out, we are going to watch it. We are going to do a cartoon of it just because it's something we wanted to do ever since the first season we love the show a lot and we're going to be having more people in it as well so that's what we'll be doing but anyways that's what i got um, another update we can move on to is i'm going to be having the other youtube channels on uh, this channel youtube channel is going to be renamed officially to instead 
Horizon Nova animation, and I been thinking about wanting to rename my channel for a long time but never did it but now I did it and I'm happy on where it is now I'm very <laughs> happy on how more professional it sounds I don't want, like it that my studio name is just my name and animation studio I decided to change it I have two other YouTube channels that I also would love to um, share with you guys um, I have one that's just my normal name Casey Dixon but that one is going to be more about a vlog or behind the scenes and who knows maybe gaming since I recently just got into gaming again stuff maybe I want to talk about I wanted to talk there's just a lot I want to do that's besides animation like maybe do like um, commentaries on movies with Chip and I uh, more stuff like how I do my work what do I do with the animation all this and that make mini documentaries on how I do my work the second channel I also wanted to announce is a is a channel that my brother and I, Chip, will be completely collaborating on. It's going to be called Rusty Gears Production. It's going to be a combination of a lot of things that we're going to be doing, like animation, stop motion, live action stuff. That's something that Chip and I have been wanting to do for a long time. Um, the channel's been around for a while. We never really got to put our feet down on what we're going to do, but since we have a lot of plans on what we're going to be doing, we're happy to announce that this will be another channel that all will be also going back and forth on it's going to be mainly his channel but for the most part him and i are, are going to be running the channel and we're going to be making a lot of films together stuff that's not really animation stuff that's a lot more live action we have a lot of ideas on what we're going to do collaboration just you know a lot of fun things but anyways yeah that's basically what i got right now Animation has became something that I've loved for a very long time. I love writing stories and cartoons. I especially love writing and giving characters a story. And I want to expand that on that more. And one last thing I wanted to mention was the official teaser trailer for Outer System is going to be coming very soon. And again, I can't guarantee on when it is, but it is going to be coming very soon. And the project that itself will also be coming out as well. And after that, yeah, uh, more projects are just going to be coming out with more updates. And once the official date is released, then that's when I'll officially start talking about it more. Anyways, that's basically it. I don't have that many updates. I know there's a lot more projects that are in store but for right now the projects i just mentioned and announced those ones are going to be coming out sometime hopefully this year and maybe the short projects next year i'm not sure whatever comes up in life i will update everyone about it that is it right now i'm just tired but also excited to get started on these i i love being here and I love talking to people and I love interacting with people that love these videos I love getting to know people in person and sharing them what I do because I've also met people who are really talented and I've met people who are just amazing and people who actually are very supportive I've met people in person who are just so talented I love meeting people and I can't wait to do more of that in the future to interact with all of you and I know I sound not as enthusiastic with that just because I'm tired but from the bottom of my heart I just want to say that I am really truly happy to be here to talk with all of you but anyways that's all the time I have right now I will keep everyone posted and updated on what goes on thank you all again and the next update I do I will try to not sound more exhausted and I will try to get a better mic but anyways thank you guys so much I will see you guys next time. Bye.